Did you know the black carbon that you release every day by consuming global products, lighting the stove, and driving to school is responsible for 20% of global warming? Black carbon is formed by the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels, biofuel, and biomass, which releases small particles, or soot, into the atmosphere. Black carbon warms the atmosphere when the dark particles absorb incoming radiation from the sun and promote the formation of dense clouds. Not only does it warm the atmosphere, but the black carbon darkens the ice it lands on, reducing the reflectivity of the Earth's surface and absorbing solar radiation like a warm blanket. It has directly caused more than 30% of the recent warming in the Arctic. The air pollution from black carbon is also a leading cause of respiratory illness and death all over the world. It's a small type of particulate matter called PM2.5, which gives it easy access to, into lungs and bloodstreams, causing around 3.2 million premature deaths from ambient outdoor air pollution annually. As well as the terrible health and environmental effects, it also makes a dent in the economy. Black carbon causes $18 billion in economic losses from damage to agriculture and health each year. The United States emits 8% of the world's black carbon emissions each year, making it the seventh largest emitter. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, emissions from factories and diesel engines are the biggest contributors to black carbon emissions in the USA. However, the majority of all black carbon emissions come from the developing world. China and India account for roughly 35% of all emissions. Nearly 3 billion people around the world burn coal or biomass in open fires or cook stoves on a daily basis for cooking and heating because they can't afford modern appliances. These cook stoves are direct emitters of black carbon and account for 25% of all emissions. Latin American countries also use slash and burn techniques for agriculture, which leads to deforestation and releases massive amounts of black carbon. Unlike other greenhouse gases, black carbon only remains in the atmosphere for a short time. This means that a reduction of black carbon emissions will have a major and immediate effect on the decreasing climate change. We must act now. You can contribute to reducing black carbon at home too, by buying local and being aware of products like palm oil that account for the majority of deforestation from agriculture in developing countries. If we bring new and improved cook stoves to the developing world, we could reduce emissions by 50 to 90%. Donating to the nonprofit Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves can directly help this change happen. You can also reduce your use of diesel by driving less and using other modes of transportation or supporting the legislation to increase air quality regulations in the U.S. Change begins with you, so start saving the earth by protecting it from black carbon.